Hello Retro Gamers, this is the Grandstand Star Force electronic tabletop game that came out in 1984 prior to the NES and the Sega Master System and really was one of your only options for arcade gaming at home. But it's pretty limited. It's pretty limited in what it can do and what it could do at the time but for £40, £50 you could really have a quite a nice little game at home. But now, in 2015, we can do better. So that's what I did. And I made my own little tabletop arcade. Name the Star Force Pi. Check it out. Quick guide as well to get acquainted with the system. You can see it's pretty cool, just some of the features that I've added to it. And of course the box that comes with it. And the console with some of the most awesome arcade games ever made. Like the turtles! Oh my god! We look here at Metal Slug X, and let's just turn the sound off for a second. Uh, you can really see that you're gonna need most of these buttons in order to kick some ass in Metal Slug. And the sunken in, sunken in quarter VGA screen really is pretty nice looking as well. I mean, you can get better screens, of course, but uh, to keep everything under a certain budget, I went for just a very nice little screen that was able to play whatever I needed from the old classic era. So, on the buttons over here, you can see that we have the four button micro switches, and I coded them uh, with uh, the, the symbols of the PlayStation, uh, of course, and there's also the SNES, because, uh, well, those are the most of the games that I play. I actually am more of a Sega fan, but uh, just for compatibility, PlayStation and SNES will do. I had four buttons, and that works a lot better with that. Uh, and of course, this micro switch. Now, this, this was a an interesting build to think of because you can see that the thinness of the system means that this micro switch really sticks through the button. So the button there, I don't know if you can see that the button there had to be opened up in order to make space for the switches. That also made that, uh, that I had to add some spaces to the bottom and it actually makes the whole thing a lot more stable and then when you actually move it really moves nicely. On the side here, I couldn't really get it onto the front panel over here, so I had to put it on the side, are just the main interface uh, buttons from uh, escape, start, and uh, a coin, of course. And so, why don't we just have a go? Marco! Let's see if we can play this properly. Well, let's go to the menu and see if we've got any other games going on. So we're, uh, we're in the uh, main for all over here and we can just make a little selection. And a couple of the cool games that I found were, uh, of course, the old arcade games, uh, platformer arcade games, but the beat em ups, that's always one that really shows all the button movements. Galaxy 5, classic game, totally underrated, but still. Galaxy Fight! Let's do the ninja. Kasuma! This is 
pretty difficult to get. But the back features that I've made uh, are actually with extensions inside the Raspberry Pi, so you can imagine how crowded it is, uh, it is at the moment. Uh, but it does allow for two USB uh, uh, inputs, so you can actually add your own controllers, your Mega Drive controllers, whatever. And of course Ethernet, you need that in order to put the games on there or you know, if you just want to use it as a full desktop, which is a possibility, uh, you would have to output it in HDMI of course, which I've also integrated in there. And you just switch off the, off the screen and then uh, the output will go to whatever screen you use. And this uh, uh, 5 volt um, um, adapter is necessary in order to recharge the, uh, the battery that's in there. And with a fully charged battery, you have about five hours of continuous gameplay. This little quick, our quick guide actually shows you how it's all configured, how it's all made, what we can do with it. And really, the idea behind all of this is to kind of look if there is any kind of interest out there for a system like this. My only friend with a heavy machine gun in my hand, I beat my thug over and over again. 32 bits of endless fun, you're a 1990 revolution. You're a head in the game, you are the best. You're the SNK, king of MBS. You're an attractive machine in a pretty red dress. When I'm playing as my, I wanna give you a kiss, forget Chun Li. When the she ran, you reach a Nazi out with those big ninja beats. Oh, God. Samurai showdown, digital god. When you're playing against me, my ninja dog. I'm like Cal Ford, my cool blonde hair, but I don't have a ninja dog, I have a ninja chair. Neo Geo, Neo Geo, all right buttons and two joysticks. Neo Geo, Neo Geo, all right cabinet name.